Welcome back to one of the Guardian Tales video. We are on floor eight. We are on the boss. We have 10 tickets to burn, not including the ticket I used to get to this little checkerboard piece. Let's take a look at the artifacts. So I'm, I know there's a little bit of diminishing returns. We talked about that in a previous video um, as far as stacking these things. But I'm not quite certain, obviously. Um, I have three of these, so I'm getting 150% weapon skill regen speed. And I'm not quite certain if it's better, if three is better than two. I'm not certain, because it may be diminishing returns. Um, obviously, you'd think that if I had two of them, I'd have 100%, and then maybe I could spam the weapon skill all the time. I'm not 100% certain on that, but. It's only a mid-grade artifact. I can probably replace it later and test things out. I used to have three of these, and then I replaced one with uh, the, the lens to switch it. And we got the Elegate Cloak. That's nice. Um, some of these levels, they'll just explode one of your guys, and so this kind of re reduces that. I haven't completely made up my mind on damage reduction, but it seems to be working fine. And then I have two melee attacks because the ranged immune enemies were giving me a problem. So now we've got a lot of pressure on Nari too, because uh, Nari, I mean, the healer does some range damage as well, but Nari is my only real, real range damage. And if you want to look at it all, you click on heroes, and then down here right at the bottom, those two little square diamond things right under Aoba, next to the question mark, if you click on that button, it tabulates everything up for you and also has your whole account stuff. So, um, Havenhold, I really haven't focused on getting any of the upgrades in that. I'm just trying to get my production as high as possible. And almost all my buildings are at least level 7 right now. My inn is level 8, and then the tree is level 8. Um, and I've got one building that's finishing cooking, and when that's done, everything will be green. And so either I'll take everything to level 8, because everything is level 7, um, in case I miss, in case I said that wrong. All my buildings are 7. Um... I'll decide, do I want to upgrade the inn or do I want to get everything to eight before I do that? So whatever, we'll figure that out. It's no big deal. And then for collection stuff, this these are all the bonuses that you get from doing your book. This alone should show you how important your book is. So just something to think about. But anyways, all right. This is the team I have. Let's look at the enemy team here. Let's see. Yes, yes, make all the noise the moment I decide to film make all the noise in the world. Thank you, universe, for, for helping that out. All right, we're back. So here's what we got, and ooh, wait. No, that's my button, okay. So you can access the button here. I thought you could click, maybe the enemy team had all their bonuses or something shown, but under the enemy team, you can click that same little double diamond button and it'll show you all your stuff. It would be cool if it showed the, um, if it showed the diminishing returns so I could see if the skill regen speed was effective or not or whatever. But all right, that's enough talking. Let's get into here. I'm just double checking the team. Is there anything I want to change? Well, good luck to me. Good luck to me. We've got it on 1x speed now. Just to kind of make a little bit of a better assessment. But let's see how this goes. Let's see how it goes. Looking pretty good. Augment's taking a ton of damage, but we finally got the skill chains rolling. And that's where my team really excels. Um, I might switch one of the skill regen speeds for a um, skill damage. You can get 100% skill damage. Massive healing coming in from Aoba. I hope she can keep it up. Ogma does fall. Oh, and you can just pause. Just like that. Yeah. So you can just pause and go back to lobby. What? I get it now. I get it now. I don't know if I'm going to make any changes. I'll just put Ogma back one tick and just try to RNG this thing a little bit better. Uh, speaking of Ogma, he is going to get the last 30 shards from the event today, probably in the next piece of content that I run. And then he will need 45 shards to get to five star. And keep in mind, Ogma gives a team buff of defense. So hopefully that will be helpful. And I'm just watching his health bar here. Taking tons of damage, tons of damage. to get some healing. Aobo doing phenomenal. Aobo is just god tier. I think word in the street is the Aobo weapon is going to be... Nope, my marina died there. We're having a hard time on this, man. The marina weapon is supposed to be um, coming up soon. I think it was leaked 
but I don't really trust the source that much. What if I do like that? I'm trying to get the, the types to match up. So I want to get my Marina against fire. I want to get uh, Agma against basic. Hopefully that will help and, and I should watch the combat a little bit better. I've been watching the health bars too much. Because he's spiking up and down. Chain skills going out, looking pretty good. We're getting a little bit of damage out there. Enemy team has a Karina on there, but the thing with her is if she doesn't deal damage, she does not heal, and I think my damage reduction is actually countering her. This is probably our best try so far. Probably our best try so far. We need to get those two low heroes dead. We need to get them down. We need more chain skills. Agma staying alive. Phenomenal. It's going to take me, I think, we got one of the enemies dead. It's going to take me, like, I think two to three days for me to five-star Agma. I'm not 100% sure. I think you get, like, 200 energy per day plus mail. So maybe it's, like, 300. Timer's only at 45, 44. Looking pretty good. I guess I should have been using the stop mechanic a lot more than I have been in the past. I haven't really been using that a ton. Um, and Marina's putting out a ton of shielding on the entire team. That's one of the reasons why her as the leader is super strong. It's one of the reasons why the skill regen thing is super strong. 25 seconds on the clock. It's looking pretty good. I'm not going to get super excited just yet. 19, 18. So I think the positioning helped, but I think it was a lot of the rerolls in the RNG. 10 seconds. We might not make this, man. And if I don't pause it at the last second, oh man, we're not making it. I'll pause it at two. It's too close. We can't we can't do that one. Man, that sucks. That was really good RNG. I need Marina to pull everybody together and just do more AoE. Hmm. It hurts to, to reset that one. Let's go again. Keep in mind that we can do this infinitely. It does not take tickets or anything. Who is their special hero? No, they're all they're all pretty beefy. I guess if we could kill their Aoba and Karina quicker, that would be great, but I don't see how I'm gonna do that. Hmm. I had one of these levels where I had to take out. No, maybe that was the orbital lift. Speaking of orbital lift. Um, I am, I got up to 300 and I did a couple tries on it. Didn't look too promising. So maybe the Augma five star will be important there. We still haven't, pro come on Augma. We still haven't progressed past, I think 45 on Havenhold Tower with the two bosses there as well. Um, I might just have to level up some range attack heroes and use them as buffers and then just have Nari run around and kill people. But it just feels like she's not doing damage. We're seeing a lot of damage out of Marina right now because all the enemies are grouped up with her pull skill, so she's giving tons and tons of value. If she's hitting multiple targets with a pull skill, that's, uh, and um, I mean, if she's hitting multiple targets with her weapon skill, come on, get that heal Um That makes her one of the highest DPS heroes in the game, even though she's a tank, just because she's AOE tanking. If we can get one heal off from Aoba, we'll be pretty looking good. I don't know, Karina's getting some healing going. Not seeing any chain skills. Ogma does die, so I'm going to reset this one. Even if I won off this, which it looks like it's possible, not having Ogma means we're not going to go that far. So, in an effort to save some time, let's do that. And I might go back on the 2x speed. I kind of like to be able to get a decent idea of what's going on. But I think that was a better better idea. I just don't know why Aoba didn't get any healing off. I don't know. I should be seeing more chain skills. I really don't feel like I'm seeing more chain skills than I was when I was using only two of the 50% skill regen buffs. So, I'm not a big fan of that. Man, 2x speed, it's like twice as fast. <laughs> See, now we're seeing more chain skills just because the 2x speed. <laughs> Let's uh, bring it down a little bit. So we do have a kill. One of their healers is down, Agma still a little bit rough. Aoba, she lost her shield. And then you get more shielding out of Marina. That was kind of the whole the whole idea with stacking the skill regen. Does a ton of damage and it does a good amount of shielding. 30 seconds on the clock. We need some heals coming out. Come on, Agma. Survive. 
Woo. Good heels. 20 seconds on the clock. Do we have enough DPS to do it? Hmm. What's cool with the skill regen if you have a Marina is that it's offensive and defensive at the same time because Marina puts out shields and she does damage, but our single target damage is quite weak. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Now, what I could do is I could just let my team run down and all the damage dealt to the enemies is gonna stick around. I'll do a couple more runs. But all the damage dealt to the enemies would stick around and then I'd have a second team come in and, and take this guy out. However, if I do that, I won't be able to progress on floor nine and I really wanna check that out. And that's kind of the, the hope of this video is to eventually get through this and then check out floor nine and see what's up and then show you guys um, how much currency you're getting on floor nine and things like that. So, it might just come down to some RNG. I don't really have any other heroes to put in. And it's, it's not like I'm gonna be able to five star Augma today. And he does seem to be the one taking tons of damage. And we all know how his, uh, his kit works. So, five star Augma would help. You might be wondering why I'm running this team. Because it's not a high offense team. And it's because it's what I got. Yeah. I do have 300 mileage, which is nice, but I don't have Bari and I don't have her weapon. We're getting a lot of AoE damage out of Marina here. This is amazing. Agma, stay alive, boy. Um, Agma is down. I kind of just want to see how it's going to go from here. All right, we get it. Let's keep it, keep it moving. But yeah, man. Come on. We'll do this one in two X speed. But yeah, so 300 mileage, and I'm just gonna keep doing the 100 gem pulls every day and getting a little bit of energy, and then I'll just see whatever special events or holidays they throw at us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for really, really good value to, to consider anything. But I've said it a bunch of times before, the game is super, super free to play friendly. Ooh, I almost died. We're not doing that. Super free to play friendly. Um, if you want to get through all of the content in the game, you want to get through all the story mode and everything like that, you can absolutely do that easily as a free-to-play. Um, it's only It only really gets competitive when you're talking about like Arena specifically and Coliseum. And, and if you wanted to push this mode to the max, then yeah, of course. But there's no real need. The increase of bottle caps per level is not something incredibly massive. It's nice. It's convenient. And since this is a seasonal mode, I don't think it's going to be around forever, so we're definitely going to miss it when it's gone. Do they're playing Whack-A-Mole with Agma's health. Oh, goodness. Bro, Agma, you're supposed to be so tanky, man. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing, Agma? <laughs> well, how long are we going? 13 minutes, haven't passed the floor. Well, well, well. Let's let's give it two more runs, and um, if I get another run where I get the the last enemy down super low, I think I'll just let my team get killed, and then I will put in a second string team and try to get the win. But I'll have to wait until I get a good run, because I got a lot of these tickets. They're gonna end up stacking up, and I'm not gonna progress by staying here. I don't think I can put any other heroes in. I don't think putting a Eugene in would help, but you know what? Actually, let's try it. Let's, before I, I give up, let's put a Eugene in for Nari because Eugene gives range damage or melee damage, um, and maybe that melee damage on my melee heroes would be enough to do it. No, we're looking pretty good here. 25 seconds on the clock. Last hero there. Our single target damage is a little bit suspect. Plenty of shields. It's a really good run. This could be the one. No, we don't have enough timer. All right, I'll just let the timer go. So my whole team dies. The damage stays on the enemies, and I put in my second string. Now, my second stream team could just absolutely blow up, so heads up for that. But I think we have a chance of being okay. I do think next time I come through here, I will have the five-star Agma, and I think that'll, that'll be the difference. Bum, bum, bum. Let's add her to party. Add you to the party. I might take that one out. And I've been working on um, Bianca. I got her and her weapon off 100 gem poles. Her weapon's like level 40 something. 
So don't expect too much. And I don't know how or why I got those shards. I think I ended up spending like star currency or something. Do I want Eva? Because she's not five star and she's only cool when she's five star. Or do I want this one? This one does some debuff stuffs. What do you do? Do I want to start trying her? She got a level 20 weapon, man. That's kind of dumb. Yeah, her weapon's too low. Just taking one last look at everything. Yeah, let's do it. This is as good as it's going to get. And I'll do the swap. I know that doesn't mean anything. Okay, what do we got here? We have a fire hero. And she is water. I've always wished me luck. Wish me luck. Here we go. Holy smokes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I should have put in Craig, man. That was so bad. That was so bad. I don't think we did any damage at all. I guess I needed the tank to taunt her, but she's fire and Craig's earth, which is why I don't want to do that. She'd blow him up. I think that's GG, fellas. That is GG. How unfortunate. Yeah, we don't have anything else. I've got some Earth Boys. This is not going to work, but you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. My um, Tinia has like no weapon or her weapons garbage so I just have to for that this is for science man I don't expect anything anything good out of this I don't expect anything good out of this how much health do you have 35k can we even do 10k damage I'm probably wasting tickets here but this will be the last one and then I'll reset it, but we're living, we're learning, we're, we're getting some improvements. <laughs> not even, not even. I don't know if we did a thousand damage there. <sighs> but hey, we got to level eight. Sad we didn't get to level nine, but you know, you'll see the progress. I just want to see. No, wrong button. We didn't even do a thousand damage. Okay, GG. GG. I have no roster. Other stuff. So I mentioned that we're super close to finishing off the event. I do one more piece of content. I can get the 30. And then, as you can see there, we need like 45 more to max him from that. That'll take me, what, three days, two days? I don't know how, how many that is. And then anything else extra we get, I'll start doing the dream stones. I never dream stones have never been a um, a bottleneck for me. I've never been stuck and like, oh, I need more dream stones. But if you can see at the end of here, hero crystal. So yeah, sure. And then after that, if there's anything left, because there's only five four days left, I guess I'll pick up these shards back here that don't mean anything to anybody. And then as far as my town. Uh, the inn is at 8, the tree is at 7, everything else is at 7, with the exception of the things I'm working on right now. And when the game thing finishes, everything will be green. And there you go. We do have a couple extra heroes. So that's why I'm kind of thinking about getting to level 9, because I'll be able to get 4 more heroes worth of regen, which probably isn't a ton, considering how long it would take to make all that happen. But what else am I going to do? I mean, I could start... I could start pushing on the, the bonuses, I guess. Tower of Strength. Maybe I should really start doing that. Because if I get that up to like level 8 or something, I mean, come on, that's like 5% more damage. That would be a big deal. So yeah, that's probably what I should do. And I've never seen anything that has made me want to spend in here. I mean, this is probably the first time. Because like, that's kind of good. And sometimes I need the mid-grade blues. But usually I don't see anything I want in here. Usually it's like something for gems. It's like 50 gems for a couple unique hero shards. And like I, that 50 gems could get me, 
you know, like 25 coffee and the 25 coffee probably give me about the same amount of shards. So as it, we're getting there fellas. We'll get him up to five star. He'll get that nice defensive bonus. Hopefully that'll help. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll check you out in the next video.